It was just a tragic accident. That's the message tonight from the family of a young Meriden boy who was killed after crashing his go-kart in a park earlier this year. The child's stepfather is now facing charges in the case. NBC Connecticut's Amanda Pitts is at the park where it happened with the family's response to those charges. That young boy crashed his go-kart behind me. It's a go-kart that police say was homemade by his stepfather. But we spoke to that man today who said it's not homemade, it was safe, and this is not his fault. He had the smile that would light up a whole entire arena. It's been six months since Kaylee Warzeka lost her firstborn child, six-year-old Adrian, now memorialized at Cronenberger Park in Meriden, where he was killed. It's painful. It some days are okay, and I can get to the day with some kind of normalcy. I have other children I have to take care of. But some days, it, it physically hurts to get out of bed. Adrian was driving this go-kart that April night with his four-year-old brother in the passenger seat. When he sped through the lot and crashed into this gate, he was wearing a helmet but suffered a traumatic head injury. The boy's stepfather, Stephen Stolfi, has now been charged with two counts of risk of injury to a minor, charges that have blindsided the family. Which trying to grieve him and do get through the day, get through the hour. Never mind have to worry about now their, the rest of the three children's father being ripped from them, my partner being ripped from me. According to the arrest warrant, the go-kart was inspected and police said it was homemade and modified by Stolfi, writing that the body is from a Dune Racer Power Wheels toy car designed and sold to be powered by a 12-volt battery with a top speed of 5 miles per hour. Yet police say the go-kart had a gas engine and was able to be operated at top speeds of 28 miles per hour with no seat belts or harnesses. But Stolfi says it wasn't homemade. It was a kit he ordered and and he followed the instructions. All the throttle linkage, the brakes, those were all purchased from a power sports company. Those were all installed to the manufacturer's specifications. I had spent about an hour and a half going over all the nuts and bolts, making sure everything was tight, nothing was loose. Once a happy, fun activity for the family, now something Stolfi wishes he could take back. It haunts me every single day that that I, I built the go-kart and, and he passed away on it. Now Stolfi plans to plead not guilty. He's due back in court next month. In the meantime, he says he's looking for an attorney. In Meriden, Amanda Pitts, NBC, Connecticut News.